Hey, thank you for calling the uh, First Middle Church of Christ. We're really glad to have you, and we hope that you're having a wonderful uh, Monday today, and we hope that your weekend has been great and God's been blessing you. You know, here at the First Middle Church of Christ, this is where the faith, the fellowship, and the power of God's Word meet. We're calling all metalheads and believers alike to join us in spreading the message of love and acceptance. Connect with us on Facebook and Instagram. Stay in touch with our inspiring messages. Hey, don't miss out subscribing to our YouTube channel and be sure to pass it along to your family and friends. We have some great messages and topics that can help you and encourage you in your walk with the Lord. Join us online and show the world what it means to be a true disciple of Christ in rock and roll. And together, we can change the world one person at a time. Your generous donations play a vital role in sustaining our ministry and enabling us to continue spreading the message of hope and redemption. We create meaningful experiences. Together, we can make a difference and share the transformative power of God's love in the world. Join us online and subscribe and support our missions. All right, today's topic uh, will be coming from learning from Caitlin Clark, striving for excellence in God's kingdom. You know, I'd like to reflect on this remarkable achievement and lessons that we can glean from Caitlin Clark, the all-time leading scorer in basketball, men and women's college basketball. See, as we look into her story, we will draw parallels to a spiritual journey as Christians, seeking to learn from her dedication, perseverance, and excellence in her craft. So let us open our hearts and minds to the wisdom that God's Word and Caitlin's examples can offer us. You see, Proverbs 12, 24 tells us to work hard and become a leader, be lazy, and become a slave. Just as Caitlin Clark dedicated countless hours to honing her basketball skills, we are called to dedicate ourselves to the work of God's kingdom. 1 Corinthians 15:58, the Apostle Paul encourages us, So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. So let us imitate Caitlin's discipline in our spiritual lives, striving for excellence in all that we do for the glory of God. James 1-2 tells us that, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Caitlin Clark faced numerous challenges and setbacks on her journey to become a record-breaking athlete. Similar, as Christians, we are promised trials and tribulations in this world. However, James reminds us that these challenges can strengthen our faith and character if we preserve with joy and endurance. So let us learn from Caitlin's resilience and trust in God's plan, even in the midst of adversity. 1 Peter 4.10 tells us that God has given each of us a gift from the, his great uh, variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do, not, do you not have a gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Caitlin Clark's exceptionally talent in basketball is a gift from God, and she has used it to bring glory to his name. Likewise, each one of us has been given a unique gift and ability to serve the body of Christ and further his kingdom on earth. But let us not bury our talents, but instead, like the faithful servant in Matthew 25, invest them wisely and use them to bless others and honor God. You see, Philippians 2, 3 tells us, don't be selfish, don't try to impress others, be humble, thinking of others as better than yourself. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take on interest in others too. You see, despite her incredible success and recognition as the all-time leading scorer in basketball, men and women's, Caitlin Clark remains humble and grateful for the opportunities and blessings in her life. As Christians, we are called to follow Christ's example of humility and servant leadership. But let us remember to give thanks to God for the gifts and talents that he has bestowed upon us and to use them in service to others with a humble and grateful heart. Hebrews 10.24 tells us that let us think of ways to motivate one another to act of love and good works. 
and let us not neglect our meeting together, as some do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Behind every successful athlete like Caitlin Clark is a team of coaches, teammates, family, and supporters who have played a crucial role in her journey. In the same way as members of the body of Christ, we are called to support and encourage one another in our faith walk. Let us build each other up, spur one another on towards love and good deeds, and gather together regularly for worship, fellowship, and mutual edification, knowing that we are stronger together in Christ. Proverbs 3, five tells us that trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding, but seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. Throughout Caitlin Clark's journey to becoming the all-time leading scorer in basketball, and she demonstrated the unwavering faith and trust in her abilities and in the plan that God had for her. As Christians, we are called to trust in God's wisdom and guidance, even when we may not understand his ways. By seeking his will in all we do and acknowledging his sovereignty over our lives, we can walk confidently on the path that he has laid out for us. Hebrews 12, 1, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that shows us, that slows us down, especially the sin that has eagerly trips us up. But let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and per perfects our faith. Caitlin Clark's journey to becoming the all-time leading scorer in basketball, men and women, was not easy, and it required endurance, perseverance, and a long-term vision for success. Similar as Christians, we are called to run the race of faith with endurance, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus as the ultimate example of faithfulness and perseverance. But let us lay aside the weights of sin that hinder us and press on toward the goal of knowing Christ and making him known, trusting in his strength to sustain us through every trial and challenge. I want to close out with this story, The Eternal Scoreboard, A Message of Purpose and Redemption. In a small town nestled amongst the rolling hills and meadows, there lived a young man named Ethan. Ethan had grown up with a passion for basketball, spending countless hours practicing his shots on the weathered hoop in his backyard. His dream was to play college basketball and make a name for himself on the court. As he entered high school, Ethan's skills caught the attention of scouts and coaches, and he soon found himself a key player on the school's varsity team. With each game, he dazzled a crowd with his speed, agility, and sharp shooting, drawing comparison to the greats of the game. His talent seemed boundless, and his future in basketball appeared bright. But however, as the pressure of performance and exceptions mounted, Ethan's focus began to shift. He became consumed with the pursuit of personal glory and, and, and fame, losing sight of the joy and passion that initially fueled his love for the game. His relationships with teammates were strained, and once radiance, spirit dimmed upon the weight of his own ambition. But one day, as Ethan sat alone on the bench after a particular disappointing game, a stranger approached him. The man's eyes held a deep wisdom and compassion that seemed to pierce through Ethan's soul. But without preamble, he spoke words that echoed in Ethan's soul. Son, your worth is not measured by the points you score or the victories you achieve on the court. True greatness lies in a way that you use your gift to uplift others, to inspire hope and to bring glory to something greater than yourself. Those words stuck a chord with Ethan, stirring the dormant longing for purpose and meaning that transcends the confines of the basketball court. He began to reassess his priorities, seeking to align his actions with a deeper sense of calling and service to others. In the weeks that followed, Ethan embarked on a journey of self-discovery and redemption. He reached out to his teammates, seeking reconciliation and fostering a spirit of unity and friendship that breathed new life into their sacred pursuit of excellence. He mentored younger players, imparting lessons of resilience, humility, and teamwork that went far beyond the confines of the court. But on the night of the championship game, as Ethan stood on the court with his teammates, a sense of peace and fulfillment settled over him. Though the outcome of the game remained uncertain, he knew that he had already achieved victory in a far more profound sense. 
victory over the, his own ego, over the shadows of pursuit of fame and fortune, and over the shadows that had threatened to engulf his spirit. As the final buzzer sounded and the crowd erupted in cheers and applause, Ethan looked up at the scoreboard. Amidst the flashing lights and swirling numbers, he saw a different kind of score being tallied. A score that measured not the by points scored or games won, but the impact of a life lived with purpose, integrity, and love. And at that moment, Ethan understood the true greatness was not found in the fleeting triumphs of this world, but in the enduring legacy of a heart transformed by grace and a spirit aligned with the eternal purpose of God. And as he walked off the court that night, his held his head held high, his heart at peace, Ethan knew that he had found his true calling. To play not for the applause of men, but for the approval of the one who had written his name on the eternal scoreboard. And in the days and weeks that followed the championship game, Ethan's transformation reverberated throughout the community. His story became a beacon of hope and inspiration, reminding others that true greatness lay not in personal achievements alone, but in the way one used their gifts and talents to serve others and glorify God. Ethan's journey of self-discovery and redemption had a ripple effect, touching the lives of those around him in profound ways. Teammates found renewed purpose and unity in their shared pursuit of excellence. Coaches embraced a deeper commitment to mentorship and character development. And fans witnessed a shining example of resilience and humility in the faces of its adversaries. But as the years passed, Ethan's name faded from the headlines. But his legacy endured. The lessons that he had learned and the values he had embraced continued to shape the hearts and minds of generations to come, inspiring a new wave of athletes and leaders to strive for excellence with integrity and purpose. And on, on, and on quiet evenings, when the sun dipped below the horizon and the echoes of the game faded into memory, Ethan would gaze up at the stars, his heart filled with gratitude for the journey that had led him to this moment of peace and fulfillment. And in the stillness of the night, he would hear a whisper on the wind, a reminder of the eternal scoreboard, where true greatness was measured not in points scored or in victories won, but in love, grace, and compassion that illuminated a life filled in service to others and in devotion to a higher calling. But as the story of Ethan's transformation spread far and wide, it became a testament to the power of redemption, the beauty of purpose, and the enduring legacy of life lived in alignment with God's eternal plan, and in all the hearts of all who heard his tale, a seed was planted, a seed of hope, a transformation, and of limitless possibilities that await those who chose to walk in the footsteps of greatness, guided by faith, fueled by love, and anchored in the unshakable truth that in God's kingdom, the score that truly matters is written in the language of eternity.